Hello, my name is Ricardo Cadena with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video is about configuring a secure access link gateway to support Avaya Session Border Controller for Enterprise Release 6.2 Remote Access. Release 2.0 and later, secure access link gateways can support Avaya Session Border Controller in enterprise customer environments. Though the 2.0.0.2 Session Border Controller cell model was updated to specifically support release 6.2 and later, since the same user interfaces are available on the Avaya SBC 4.0.4 and 4.0.5 releases, these are also supported. We will briefly show the steps taken to add Avaya Session Border Controller components as managed elements in a SAL gateway, focusing on remote access. Our demonstration will specifically add entries for a single server or single box Avaya Session Border Controller for Enterprise, which combines SBC and EMS functions on the same server. Two records were established as part of the registration process, one for the element management system and one for the SBC and security function. A high availability configuration registration would have resulted in three records, one for the element management system server and then one for each of the two redundant SBCs. It is assumed that a connection to the SAL gateway has already been established. This could be from the customer network or via a SAL concentrator remote server. This must be performed using secure HTTP and over port 7443. Once authenticated, you receive the managed element page. We will first add a managed element for the EMS. We first enter a host name. In our example, we begin the host name with ASBCE and then follow it with a two digit number identifying the Avaya SBC instance in our environment. Since this is the first we're configuring in our gateway and in the environment, we enter 01. We then indicate the function associated with the managed element. In this case, for the element management system, we add EMS. Next, add the network IP address. Then specify the cell model. Select Session Border Controller 2.0.0.2. Anything earlier than 2.0.0.2 will not support Avaya Session Border Controller for Enterprise. After selecting the cell model, the product field appears. The default entry is the only option. Next, enter the solution element ID provided for the EMS during registration. The product ID would also normally be provided during registration. Since alarming is not supported as of release 6.2, we were not provided with one. Leave the default value. To enable remote access, check the Provide Remote Access to This Device checkbox. Again, since alarming is not supported, you may uncheck the Transport Alarms from This Device checkbox. The Inventory checkbox and field may be left at default. When configuration is complete, click Add. You receive confirmation that the managed element was added successfully. There is also a message informing you that the SAL agents must be restarted to apply configuration changes. This will not be performed till current administration tasks are complete. With the Collect Inventory checkbox selected, the Inventory Configuration page appears. This does not have to be performed immediately, and inventory configuration is not covered in this video. To skip this step for the moment, click Cancel. We are returned to the Managed Element page. The new Managed Element entry appears in the table. Though not absolutely needed for remote access to a single box of via SBC, since the record is created during registration, to enable remote access using either solution element ID, we will add an SBC entry. To add another entry, click Add New. Enter a host name. We again begin the entry with ASBCE and then follow it with the two digit number identifying the Avaya SBC instance in our environment. Since we used 01 for the EMS, we also use 01 for the associated SBC entry. 
We then indicate the function associated with the managed element. In this case, we add SBC for the session border controller. Add the network IP address. Select the session border controller 2.0.0.2 SAL model. After selecting the model, the product field appears with the only available option. Enter the solution element ID provided during registration for the SBC function. Since alarming is not supported as of release 6.2, leave the default product ID value. Check the provide remote access to this device checkbox. You may uncheck the transport alarms from this device checkbox. The inventory checkbox and field may be left at default. When configuration is complete, click Add. Confirmation that the managed element was added successfully is provided. Since the Collect Inventory checkbox was selected, the Inventory Configuration page appears. Click Cancel to skip this step. The Managed Elements link may also be clicked in order to confirm the current list of configured devices. If the 2.0.0.2 version of the Session Border Controller model does not appear in the Cell Model drop-down, the Cell Model distribution preferences may need to be changed. Customer Administrator permissions will be required to change settings, but Certificate Authenticated users can verify current settings. To check the settings, select Advanced from the left menu. Then select the Model Distribution Preferences link. The default settings for Release 2.0 and later SAL gateways should have the Attempt to Apply Latest Model Immediately checkbox selected. With the Apply Latest Model Schedule checkbox not selected, the current models should be applied frequently. And even when selected, the default settings would have made any models released the day before checking the settings available to managed element configurations. With current administration tasks complete, the SAL agents should be restarted. Until performed, the message link informing you that the agents must be restarted to apply changes appears at the top of every page. Click the link. The Apply Configuration Changes page appears. Click the Apply button. The Alarming and Remote Access agents will be restarted. When the box appears asking if you are sure that you want to restart the agent, click OK. If the Network Connection Interrupted notice appears, or the connection hangs, Click the Reload button, or refresh the browser as instructed by the message, or establish a new connection. When the agents have been completely restarted, you will again be able to access the SAL gateway. When proper synchronization between the SAL gateway and SAL Concentrator Remote Server occurs, a VIA Session Border Controller for Enterprise will be remotely accessible via the SAL gateway. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at AvayaMentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.